Hi folks, we're at Hyde Park Speakers Corner today. And the Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes on him shall not perish but have everlasting life. John 3.16 When the Queen was coronated, she gave a promise to stand for the Protestant faith. That is, we're saved by grace, we're saved by the Gospel, and that we stand upon the Word of God. Since she was coronated, the nation has drifted away from that Gospel. We had in the 1960s free love and an attack upon the family. We had abortion laws come in. We also in the, at the 90s and, and 2000, we gay marriage. And so the nation has rapidly slid away from that gospel. Now we have a new king who claims to be the defender of the faith, but has made it clear before he was made king that he was defender of the faiths meaning Islam and other religions. As a nation, we need to get back to the gospel of grace. That's what made our nation great. William Wimbleforce and John Newton ended slave slavery because they believed in the God of the Bible and they believed in salvation by grace. John Newton wrote that hymn, Amazing Grace. Salvation by grace. Uh, George Muller started homes for children. Dr. Bernardo started homes for children. Many evangelicals in the 19th century and before did many good things for the nation. Even Queen Victoria and Gladstone stood on the Bible. But today we're not standing on the Bible. We're standing on the shifting sands of political correctness and woke ideology and identity politics and neo-Marxism. And our country is falling apart. So the greatest need of the hour is to come back to Jesus Christ. John the Baptist said, Behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. As we reflect upon the Queen's funeral in the next few weeks, we need to reflect upon our Saviour Jesus Christ. Because one day we're all going to die. One day we're all going to enter the grave and meet our Maker. The Queen has met her Maker and will appear before Jesus on Judgment Day. Every King and every President and every politician will have to answer before God for the things that they've done. And many of our politicians, if you look at their voting history, have all voted against the Bible. And they'll have to give an account of that on Judgment Day. But today, we all have to ask that question, who is Jesus Christ? Was he a liar? Was he mad? Or was he the Son of God? John the Baptist said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. You have to come to Jesus Christ and believe he is the Son of God, God incarnate who came down from heaven and became human flesh, lived a perfect life and went and died upon that cross. He said, I give my life a ransom for many. And as he died on that cross, he took the punishment for our sin. And all of us have to repent, turn away from our old life and cry out to God and look to Jesus Christ for our salvation. And only then will our nation begin to have a blessing. And only then we will have a foundation as a nation and a foundation in life and death. And that foundation is Jesus Christ and Him crucified. God bless you all. Amen.